वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एक्साइटिंग जर्नी विद द प्रिज आई एम हर्ष एंड आई एम थ्रिल टू हैव यू हेल्प फॉर अनदर एपिसोड वेयर वी डाइव डीप इनटू आवर वर्ल्ड ऑफ प्रिज सो फार वी हैव कवर्ड प्रिज पावरफुल फीचर लाइक रीजन्स मॉड्यूलर आर्किटेक्चर कमांडिंग एंड डायलॉग सर्विस टू डे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इवेंट एग्रीगेटर बिफोर वी डाइव इन इफ यू आर न्यू हेड डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड टर्न द नोटिफिकेशन सो देट यू विल स्टे अपडेटेड ऑन ऑल द लेटेस्ट प्रिज टूटोरियल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एज वी हैव एडेड कंटेंट व्यू हेयर ओके हेयर फर्स्ट आई विल एड टेक्सट बॉक्स and here i will bind the text with some text like i will say binding content okay and i will create the property inside the view model of this content view i will create the view model here content view model edit now here i will inherit bindable base i will add the name space using prism dot mppm i will make it public and here i will create one property propful and i will say content make the data type as string okay content and again content and now here i want to update the property so here i will pass def of content and then the value okay i will add some height here height and width for this text box 200 width 300 let's run and see what we are going to achieve here i want to enter some text in this text box and here from the toolbar view we will have one button called save and on the save click we want this text to save in the file but in this video we are not going to save that we will just show the text using this button i will remove this is execute because this i have added for understanding purpose so i will remove this we don't require any more this check box so i will delete this check box from toolbar view okay so let's go to this toolbar view and let's remove this check box okay and here i will add one button i will call this as save and also bind the command with save command and i don't require this now i will remove this and also we will add the command in view model let's add it i will replace this with delegate because we don't require much name space to be imported in our file so i removed this one here also i will remove because now we don't require this thing i will comment this open command for now okay now here i will add save command okay and here i will say save and then here i will just return true so that it will call always okay and i will remove this thing from here i will create the method save okay okay here we want to get the text from that text box so how to do that for that we have to use event aggregator to subscribe that event and publish that event so for that i am going to create one project which will reference to both the project okay so add one project add and then go to new project and search for class library okay and here i will select dot net framework version click on next and i will give the name as prism app dot code okay click on create and here i will replace this name here i will say content events okay and here we have to inherit pub sub and here we have to pass the type what kind of data we want to send or receive so here i want to send or receive this string type so i will use string type and here i will add this name space for pub sub using prism dot okay here we have to add the reference in this project let's add it add reference select this prism dot dll click on okay and now prism dot events okay let's fix this pub sub event okay now this part is done i will add this project reference to both the project so let's add it because here we need this pub sub event let's add this select project 
select this one and click on ok in the same way we will add inside this toolbar module add reference select prisma app dot code click on ok ok now what we have to do we have to inject i event aggregator first let's add the name space using prisma dot events ok and here I will say event aggregator i event aggregator and here also I will create one field and I will assign this like this equal to event aggregator at the semicolon here here as well now from the toolbar view model we want to save the content means we want to get the value from other ui so for that we have to subscribe that event how to subscribe that we have to use i event aggregator dot get event and then add the name which is content which is this one content events okay add the name space for this dot this is method so we have to first call this method then call subscribe because we want to get the data and here we have to pass one action i will say get content okay let's create this as method generate method and now we can show this text in message box okay message box dot show and then obj okay this is for subscription right now we have to publish then only we can get that value using subscribe so how to publish that we have to inject i event aggregator inside this content view model okay so let's pass it i will create the constructor okay and here i will inject this okay i will copy from here same thing okay add the namespace using prism dot events now let's publish it i will publish it from the setter of this like whenever the value will change we will publish it okay so i will copy this from here and i will paste here and then publish okay add the namespace for this and then publish this content right now let's run and see here i will write wpf let's click on save okay nothing happened let's see what is the issue i will add the breakpoint here let's click again okay let's type something okay okay here we have to add the update source trigger i will set the value to property change now let's add some value okay now it is hitting our breakpoint right you can see this dialog box but i have not clicked on save i will pick this okay, i will move this subscribe event to this view model like on load only it will subscribe this and here i will create one field where i can store that value string content equal to string dot empty okay and what i will do here i will assign this value to obj and this i will add inside the save button okay now let's run and see here we have to change to content okay now let's run and see here i will type wpf world okay now i will click on save see we are able to see the dialog box means from the content view this content view ui which is if you see here in main view this is the content region right this is different ui and this is different ui but we are able to send value from this to this and also if you observe here we don't have reference of prism app inside toolbar module if you see here we don't have prism app right and also in prism app we don't have toolbar module if you see here okay here we have toolbar model because we need this region but if we make it modular like if we add another project or another module for content view we will not have the reference of each other inside each other okay you already know how to build modular application so if you want you can move this content view outside this project and there we no need to add this toolbar module okay as it is the main module or we can say our application main window so we have to add all the reference here but if you make it modular then we will separate all the ui and we can use like this okay so i hope you learn how to use event aggregator and how to pass value from one ui to another ui if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends